Hi folks, and welcome back to the indoor grow space. About nine days ago-ish, I started my first ever microgreens, and today I've got a little update on how that whole thing has gone, and make sure you stay tuned until the end. It's only a short video, but at the end I'll be giving you a bit of information about how to enter a giveaway for one or two of the starter kits. And do make sure, go and check out the last episode that I did on microgreens if you wanna know more about the process or what's included in those kits. Okay, so if you've seen just about any of my videos before, you'll know that I don't have the best luck when it comes to getting things going, when it comes to growing pretty much any plants. I'm a little bit cursed, you know, I don't have the golden touch. But look at this, the microgreens have gone incredibly well. These are the radish that you see here and the coriander as well, which sometimes take up to three weeks to germinate. These are ready for harvest now. The, the radish, they've kind of gone over a little bit, they're starting to fall over. But I did just want to record this before I started harvesting all of them. And this has just been amazing. Um, I've tasted them all, they taste so good, they're so fresh um, and lovely and I'm really excited we're going to have some of this with our dinner tonight. But for me, the, the coolest thing about having these going is just that it's really energised me and excited me for the season ahead. I've never been more excited about a season's gardening, and I mentioned that in the last update, and I think these might just be part of the reason. One of the things that has been so cool about these is that they really don't require any light. The window that these have been on is kind of east facing, you know, it gets a little bit of sun in the morning, it's January, so there's really not much. And they've all grown really, really well. The only ones that aren't completely amazing are these, which are the kind of the brassica seedlings. You can see they're a little bit leggy, but they still taste amazing. And they, I think they do just look a little bit like that. The pea shoots are looking really, really strong. But this is about 10 days on and most of these are ready to harvest. And I just love it. I really loved having these as a little experiment and just something green, something growing, kind of new shoots of life. It makes me feel like it's spring already, which is very silly. I know, it's very silly. But I just, I really can't believe it. I was not expecting much from microgreens, to be honest. I didn't think they were going to do that much for me. But this is, I think, going to become definitely a common thing for me, certainly towards the start of the season. So all you've got to do to enter a chance to win one of these little seed kits is leave a comment below. That's all you have to do, and I will use a random comment picker in an upcoming video, maybe a week and a half from now, and let you know if you've won, and then you get in touch with me via email, and it's as simple as that. If you've never tried growing these, I honestly really do recommend it. The, there's lots of different kind of seeds to choose from if you don't want to pick the starter kit. There's a 10% discount code for other seeds from Growing Local in the description below, and a little referral link as well. So there's just everything you need is in either on the website or in the video that I showed you just a couple of weeks ago. I'm over the moon and that's it. Ah, oh, let me show you as well a quick little grow update on what else I've got going on in the house. So this is the window sill here and you can see the microgreens are really, <laughs> just it's just an explosion of life. It's so, so cool. And most of what we've got on here is onion seedlings. You can see here, one of the crimson crushed tomatoes I'm overwintering, a little side shoot that is going really well. I was a little bit worried that was gonna die. And there was this little one as well that I just showed a little bit of kind of signs of life. So I rescued him as well. But the onions themselves, a bit of a mixed bag. These are all ones that were sown during the Boxing Day Potty Mouth Special. And here, this first one is my Red Baron. And these are kind of old seeds, and I just sowed half on this left-hand side here with the vermiculite, and you can see there's like one or two. <laughs> Not great. Next door, another red onion, the carmen. I can't remember if this was old seed or not. Um, it's pretty sporadic germination, though. That is definitely not great, so I think I might need to start some more. Still plenty of time, I think, for onions. But over here... We have good news. These are Bedfordshire Champion, and this was from a fresh seed packet. You can see there's a lot of moisture on there. So I have taken the kind of, um, you know, I've opened up that vent. I'm gonna take that off today, and they really are ready for potting on. And just next door, this is where I tried some kind of three-year-old Bedfordshire Champion seeds. 
and just absolutely nothing at all. So what I've sowed in there is some more fresh Bedfordshire champion seeds. But it's just really, really cool to have so much going on on the windowsill at home. There is one other thing that I've got going at home and that is just my chilli seeds, but these are being really slow. It's one of the reasons I wanted to get them early because the Chinens varieties that I've got in here, they do take a little while to germinate. I think this has been about 10 or 11 days now. Not a single sprout, not a single sign. So I'm starting to get a bit impatient, but <laughs> cross our fingers and we'll get some eventually, hopefully. Thank you ever so much for joining me on just this super quick little update. You can see just how happy and how kind of energized I am about this coming season. I really am raring to go. <laughs> so good. Thank you once again ever so much for joining me. Do check out all the links in the description. Go visit Growing Local, check out what they're growing. Some really cool stuff on there. And hopefully I'll see you again next time.